Pacific Northwest at Lumen Field in Seattle, Washington. These folks love their football in Seattle. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad came out of the tunnel and it was just absolutely deafening in this building. They're set for football, so are we as the Seahawks get set to match up with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. down throw for Prescott. Man open. That's complete to Dalton Schultz. He'll be dropped at the... <laughs> 25 after a gain of six. Four yards remain for second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. So first and ten now from the 30. Elliott. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. And that was Carlos Dunlap who got in to take him down. And, of course, that's not an easy man to sack. You know how elusive he can be trying to get outside of the pocket. That was a great play on the defensive side. And I wonder what was going through his mind because I'm he didn't seem back. as committed to using his legs to pick up yardage. He wanted to keep that play alive to either take off and go or throw it away. But he held on to the football and ended up getting sacked. be accepted of course and that moves him back five After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. Here's Prescott. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain.
And now again, the play clock's going to run out on him. And that'll set him back five. Now with the play clock about to expire, we get a whistle and a timeout. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Off the play fake, Prescott. Connects here with a tight end, Jeremy Sprinkle. If they didn't have that penalty a moment ago, it'd be a first down. Still a nice 13-yard pickup. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. On play action, Prescott. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Now, how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. On second down, Elliott. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. And it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got a second and eight forthcoming. Try the right side with Elliott. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. A first down carry by Elliott. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And the Seahawks are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points no matter what. At worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 24. 
They'll start on the ground. It's Rashad Penny. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now it's Wilson. And he finds Penny. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. I like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield. Everyone trying to account for someone. But unfortunately, they didn't account for the running back slipping out of the backfield. And he was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Out of the gun, handoff to Dallas. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. That opening drive rhythm continues right into play number three. Whatever they decided that they wanted to run before the game, it's working pretty well for them right now. Moving the ball downfield at a nice rate. And guess what? I think the chain crew might have to get a little oxygen <laughs> over there. They have to keep moving downfield with first downs on each play. Shoves him aside. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Play action. It's Wilson. Blitz coming and down he goes. Randy Gregory with a big time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking. But to me, it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, and that leads to a play action sack. And Myers winds up yanking it. This is no good. Wide to the left, and this will remain a scoreless game. So an empty possession there. What do you think went wrong, Charles? Well, it looked like maybe the plant leg might have given way just a little. And when that happens, guys have a tendency to pull through the ball to compensate. And in doing so, set this one off target. They'll roll him out right. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. And that's caught inside the 30. Let's go. And he finally goes down, but not before reaching the 21. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now Prescott. And that is caught. 
but he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Looking to throw. Prescott. A hit as he throws there. Incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. And the Seahawks force the turnover. And they'll take over at the 10. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And we'll see what they want to do. Just 20 seconds remaining here before the half. The got his man complete. 30, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Well, fair to say that when you're looking at guys that can run like the wind, you often find them at the wide receiver position. And that was special there. Extra point up and through by Myers. And it's now a 7-0 game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And we'll see how aggressive they want to be in these final stages before the half. Going to take a shot for Gallup. And Prescott, his third interception. A great read, and it's picked off. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL. Audie Sports. Both these teams going through their final adjustments before heading back out of the locker room. Time for us to go back out to Lumen Field, where we rejoin Brandon God. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. He lets it fly for Lockett. And it looked like he got the feet down, did he? Yes, it's a catch. Touchdown, Seahawks. Well, you normally talk about the mobility and the accuracy first, but the arm strength, that's what can turn Russ into danger, Russ. And I'm telling you, nothing will let up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receiver streaking downfield, and you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. What a connection there for the touchdown. And this is no good. Missed the PAT, so they fail to connect, and this remains a 13-0 game.
kick this one off. Pollard to return from the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that will lead you into bigger errors. Prescott going to keep again. And he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. This would be a loss of three. And now a much tougher third down looming. I see a shake of the head as he gets up. And you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Here's Brian Anger now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Oh, look at the juke. And when it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last that's time. That's, okay, that's what you worked on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. They go play action with Wilson. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And this is caught. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Make it a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. And the Seahawks are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Pete Carroll in that familiar hands-on knees pose. His guys will go for two here. Wilson going to throw for it. Flushed out right. This is caught. Was he in? Yes. Two points. And, of course, on the two-point try, had the option to run or pass. They pass it there, and it works. So pretty straightforward, didn't it? An open receiver. Ball's put on him. Two points for them. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Pollard to return from the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul-searching now. I would say so, and they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. Eight yards to go on second down. To throw is Prescott. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They'll run on first down. Elliott. And some space here. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. 
Ezekiel Elliott, a guy who considers himself underrated, has told his detractors to put some respect on his name. Hard not to respect a run like that. And that's why he's one of the best running backs in the game today because this run combined all the elements. Started with patience, and he was just waiting for the right lane to materialize. Then once he saw it, he used his speed and escapability in tandem and turned this into a tremendous play. So Dak will bring the Cowboys up to go for the two-point try. Prescott, they're going to throw for it. Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. timeout here is taken and it's taken by the kicking team it's just their first so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter now after the touchdown it's Zerline he'll kick it away And this will come out to the 25 as Reed opts for the touchback. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, is it? As they score here, especially a touchdown, it's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. Yeah, still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Second and ten. Wilson. Dancing to his left. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A big play that time on the catch and run. The thing that hurt on that play, the missed tackle, that allowed the extra yardage. It's a matchup game in the NFL. You get the guy that you want isolated, have him miss a tackle, and off you go. Penny, a first down carry. And some room to run now. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Now Wilson on first down. Dumps that off to Penny, his running back. The ball comes out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Looking at it from the defense's perspective, they could have really used the football to try to start eating into this deficit. Yeah, because now possession's so crucial at this stage of the game, and when you've got an opportunity to hop on a turnover and you don't get it, uh, you can feel the frustration all the way up here. And the offense, they're living right right now. Another bounce and break that goes their way. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. We sit in quarter number three out in Seattle, a second and ten now. They go back to the ground now with Penny, and he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line.
So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On third down, Wilson. Open man is Eskridge. That's complete. And the Seahawks are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? So frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. This is obviously a critical sequence for this defense if they want to stay in this game. Down two scores already. They give up a touchdown here. That'll make things really difficult for their offense moving forward. Second down and goal. Wilson forced out to his left. And he finds Lockett in the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. Russell Wilson now with four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Seahawks have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Now Myers for the extra point. He missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets it to go. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Pollard to return from the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Meanwhile, Prescott's throw complete into the hands of Schultz here. The Cowboys are third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. Tim carry now for Elliott. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time. Prescott on fourth. Finding some room. Oh, Prescott stripped. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the yeah, fourth you'd quarter. you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they have to be feeling pretty good. Comfortable fourth quarter lead as they take over following the fumble recovery. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Well, he's been doing this for a lot of years, and the arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. And we often talk about hang time for punts, but in this case, we should probably calculate the hang time on that throw because that one hung up there for a long time. And managed to keep going and going until it found its target. And that wound up traveling at even 58 yards in the air, according to Next Gen stats. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Pollard to return from the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. 
That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. No, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. To throw again on second down. Prescott. And a completion to Wilson. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Now Prescott. Throw left side complete. That's Schultz. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. They'll throw again. Prescott. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 40. So many times we end a game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this one over. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. Wilson wants to throw it out to his left. Catch is made by Metcalf. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Even though they've got this big advantage, Charles, they are not taking their foot off the gas pedal right now. Well, I think what we're seeing is the result of all their great preparation and great practice time during the week. And even though it seems like this is a great chance to pull people back and maybe, you know, not try and score a few more times, they don't want to do that. I think they're enjoying what they're seeing, the collective effort, and they want to play it all the way out. Myers connects on the PAT. And the lead will swell by one more. Touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Pollard to return from the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's... And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by D.J. Reed. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. The utter domination here just continues. 